Hello, my name is David Ades. I offer life coaching at a reasonable rate. And today I'm talking about how to answer the call of life. First, you have to hear it. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Oh, it's life. I can't hang up. You talk to him. First, you have to hear it. And uh, obviously you do to some extent. That's why you would click on a video uh, such as this one. But the problem is not that you don't hear it. The problem is that it's difficult to tell which uh, demands upon your attention are real or not. What, which needs and which desires and which goals and which thoughts and which emotions and which feelings and which anxieties and which pains and, are the real ones that you have to answer? That's life. Your internal reality, your inner world is life. Your body, your brain, your identity, your lack of identity, whatever you've got going on here, you have to answer that. But falsities, illusions can come up. My thoughts, my dysregulated emotions, I'm getting caught up in something that shouldn't be bothering me, I need to get back to what I was doing because I'm getting distracted, my brain wants pleasure, my ego wants safety, and, you know, safety is very important, but you see the picture I'm painting here. It's difficult to answer the call of reality not because you don't hear that there is a ring somewhere in the distance, there is a ring. There's a ring inside of you. There's a ring outside of you, external reality. People, places, things, jobs, you name it entertainment, activities, whatever. Which one is the real one? It's like you hear a phone ringing, and it's inside of you, and it's outside of you. There's a ring somewhere, and you're in a room full of 10,000 phones. You're like, okay, this relationship? Oh, okay, this job? Oh, this is... Okay, what about this book? Oh. <laughs> and sometimes you do pick up the right phone, and it says... It, it, it talks to you nicely. It sweet talks you. And you say, oh, life is going well. And, oh, maybe things aren't that bad. And then it says, hey, I got to go. And you say, what? You got to go? And, and, and <laughs> they say, yeah, just, just answer the next phone. You answer this one. You'll be able to find the next one. And they hang up and the ring comes back. And you're like, oh, there's still 10,000 phones. Now I got to go find the next one. The only thing that's going to keep you in the game, which is all you got to do, the details of your life are up to the realities that you live in. If you want to know where to go and what to do and what's real more than, more than you currently do, if you want to answer the correct phone more than you currently do, so then it feels good about being alive, because the problem is answering the wrong phones. You keep falling for the wrong phones and you are traumatized so all of the phones look bad, none of them look... So the, so the ring sounds terrible, you don't like the ring... It, it grinds on you so you don't want to answer it, you don't want to look for it. If you want to get more involved, you have to be desperate. You have to be desperate. There's no, there's no other reason in a room of 10,000 phones, an infinity, an, in, an infinite amount of phones, there's no reason to continue go down the rows of phones and check because they all look like they're ringing and you can't tell until you pick up then you have to hang up then you have to pick up and you can't get attached when it's the wrong one and then it you know it screws you you can't get attached to it and when it's the right one and it makes you feel good you can't get attached to it because it's going to end because nothing lasts you hang up sometimes the ring seems to disappear and then the ring seems to come back but then it's the wrong one but then it's the right one the only way you're going to stay in the game is if you're desperate for it you have to be desperate for the call of life. If you hear the call of life, meaning you're somebody who would click on a video like this and you're still listening, like you're picking up what I'm putting down, if you're like this, the only way that this journey will continue functionally is with desperation on your part. You have to brandish, wield the sword of despair and fight for your needs and fight for your wants and fight for you know, truth and fight for love. You have to hold the shield of despair and protect at all costs, because that's what despair is, at all costs, protect your happiness and protect your mental health and protect and, you see what I'm saying, boundaries and your home and your life and your happiness. Without despair, without the armor of despair, you live in a fantasy world. 
nothing else is going to imbue you with what you need to continue fighting the demons in this room full of 10,000 phones on your way to figure out if the next phone is the correct one or not. Nothing else is going to help you stay in the balance in a world of all of these phones that sound like they're ringing inside of you and all of these phones that sound like they're ringing outside of you and you just keep picking phones up and putting them down in this world of distractions on the inside and on the outside nothing is going to keep you in the game long enough and deeply enough and consistently enough besides despair i hope this is a weight off of your shoulders admit that this is a desperate this is an arduous lengthy, difficult, trying, challenging journey, and it's desperate. This is a desperate journey. It's like we are adrift at sea. We are in the ocean, and we're keeping ourselves afloat. We're trying to keep ourselves afloat, and we're looking for something to cling on to. All of the phones floating by, oh, is this the, is this the inflatable raft I need? Oh, is this the boat that I need? Is this relationship the ship passing by? Oh, is this the job that's going to save me? And it's so everything. You have to be desperate. It's the only way you're ever going to find anything worthwhile. You can't be going like this. Oh, I'm so tired of answering the phones and looking for something to help keep me afloat. You can't do that. There's very limited time for that. Let me say that. There's time for rest. There's time to eat a bowl of ice cream. There's time to binge watch your favorite show. There's time to mess around with friends or whatever, right? But there is a rather limited time. So there is no... There is no getting too tired of this game. You have to be very careful of your tendency to get tired of the desperate uh, attempts at clinging to something. You have to find energy. You have to take care of yourself. You have to recognize how desperate this life is, and then you have to do what it takes to maintain yourself through the desperation. And when you maintain yourself enough then it's a little less desperate. Then it's a little less tiresome. Then it's a little bit because you're taking care of yourself. But again, the only way you're going to wake up to the fact that you have to take care of yourself better is if you realize that it's a desperate cause. If you don't take care of yourself better, you're kind of screwed. And you're kind of screwed not in some like physical, you're never going to make enough money and you're never going to be successful. Not in that way. You're screwed psychologically. How are you going to maintain your sanity day in and day out? Again and again and again and again and again and again. How are you going to maintain your sanity? How are you not going to lose it unless you take care of yourself well enough? Uh, and how are you going to take care of yourself well enough? You, you have to be desperate. You have to be desperate. And let me get back to saying I hope this is pressure off your shoulders. Just admit that you, you know. You know it is. And now it's time to embrace it. That's all you got to do. All of the details that come after that are par for the course. They are along the way. They are in the journey. All you have to do is admit how desperate the cause for mental health is, how desperate the cause for financial health is, how desperate the cause for physical health is, how desperate the cause for happiness is, how desperate the cause for truth is, how desperate the cause for love is. That's all you got to do. You got to admit that it's desperate. And you got to hone in on these different things within your life because you know truth takes a certain form in my life like psychological truth is my shtick you have a certain realm of truth you have a certain style of love you have a certain flavor of you know this and that and you have to hone in on uh, dedicating yourself to <laughs> the most desperate causes your health your well-being your safety your security your labor your time your energy your love the truth reality, your needs, your wants, and uh, you will tune in. You will tune into these things when you, when you admit the desperation. And then you can, uh, then, then what you do will actually matter because it will be relevant. Operating at the level of existential angst, despair, the actions that you take from here will be actually functional and productive. As long as you pretend to the extent that to the extent that you are desperate and at the level of existential angst as long as you pretend that you're not these actions don't correspond to reality so um as seemingly heavy 
as this topic is, I hope that it actually lifted something off of your shoulders. This is the only way to hang in the balance of the internal world and the external world, if you're desperate to hang in the balance. Everything's trying to take you off of balance all of the time, even yourself. How tiring it is to, to walk this tightrope. So you've got to be good to yourself, and you've got to find support, and you've got to find love, and you've got to find community, and you've got to open up, express your feelings. You can't let things build up too much. You don't have too much time for drama and toxicity, distractions. Everything's trying to take you off. And you gotta be, you gotta clean. You gotta clean the path. You gotta stay clean. You gotta stay rested. You gotta stay cool. You gotta stay calm. You gotta stay open. You gotta stay willing. You gotta stay dynamic. You gotta stay spontaneous because you never know. Something's gonna come fly at you and you gotta, whoa, shift your balance. Something's gonna pull you in one direction. You gotta say, whoa, I think I'm getting carried away. You have to still learn how to enjoy life, which is very difficult because everything nowadays is like some compulsive indulgence. You're supposed to binge watch forever and you're supposed to enjoy everything forever and everything latches onto you like a parasite and you can't, you can't remain clean. It's an interesting, curious, curious game that we're playing. If you uh, resonate with the message, you can schedule a free 15 to 30 minute sample session with me by clicking the first link in the description. Like this video if you do like it, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe to see more, and I will talk to you soon.